box office. Nice guy. See, you don't see a guy like this with the Fu Manchu mustache, and you're not even a chink. Anyway, uh, Chinese would be nicer, but the guys I know are chinks. Anyway, uh, doesn't matter. Where are you from, my friend? Oh, whoopee. Fire a rocket. I'll make you feel at home. Denver, Colorado. I just sit around going, is that a bear, Harry, or you? A nice looking man. You look Spanish. Are you Spanish? Italian. God bless. We need the Italian people. Anyway, uh, I'll make you feel good. Anyway, is he laughing? Take a look. My luck, this will be ahead of some mob and you'll find me on a hook in a closet later. We have a big show for you. Home box office and Jackie Barnett, the producer, went for thousands and thousands of dollars to get Bupkis. You know what Bupkis is? A canary act and a dog. Siegfried and Royd were supposed to be here. That's a wonderful actor to start us, but the lion ate him. Anyway, uh, comes out with a lion. No Jew does that. We don't do that. We're outside the cage. Look at the lion eating the guy. You're a nice, you're a Jewish guy, right? What are you, my friend? Sweet. Oh, yo, Ben Yim, and it's good to see you. Hello, will you make love with the wife? You're getting bed. We're going to put on the ski hat, and then we go to boom, to boom, to boom. Explain that to the kid. By the way, the title of this show is uh, uh, Don Rickles and His Wise Guys. I must tell you, the people that are going to perform for you today are not wise guys. That's, a, that's just a, a kind of goofy expression. The brains of home box office said, call them they like that. It's wise guys. The emphasis is that they're really comedic, very talented, and wonderful people. Some you've never seen on television, some you have. But they're all great performers, and they're not out to be wise guys, but comedians are not guys. I, I live with my wife now 15 years, and she keeps saying, when's the wise guy? <laughs> I got a wife just lays in the bed all night long going, zippity doo doo, zippity ay. And I got to hum along with her, otherwise there's no grab bag. <laughs> anyway, this is all made up, Harriet, all made up. Anyway, uh, I got crack riders, me. Anyway, so enjoy yourselves in Denver. I was kidding about you and the Swede. Be proud. Is that the missus? Uh, not bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sweet Mary to watch. I'll tell you this. No, no good luck to you, lady. Ooh. Look at this. Now I got him going. He's right, for God's sake. I'm sleeping for the big wrist, Raj. Good luck to you, really. The nice man. Well, where do you live? Topeka, Kansas. Well, with Denver, Colorado, the two of you. Why don't we get out the tractor and forget the show? You're nice people. I, I got an uncle in Topeka. Just sits around with a rake going, look at all the leaves. <laughs> look at all the leaves. Anyway, uh, if I may, assisted by Helmut, one of the great German paratroopers, unfortunately, during the war landed on his piano. <laughs> in this age of inflation, an age where our nation is uptight and nervous at best, I have a big idea that's a perfect panacea and the name of my cure-all is Jest. We have loads and loads of great men, but all of them are straight men and straight men alone are no fun. So let's cool it with sedate men and go easy with the straight men and mix in some folks who are fun. We're on the brink so stop and think what would the world be like without funny people funny people who make you laugh a snowball that knocks off your block pie in the face rocks your clock a banana peel is a yuck a lady and a mouse will bring down the house the world Milk and honey with funny people They'll make you unwind when you are too wound Nothing can cure your pains and your aches Like plenty of punchlines and double takes And lots of funny people around Get 
the black guy went, he got rhythm, he got rhythm. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you a wonderful comedy mind. This is a wonderful Korean boy. I, I met him in the war, standing by my truck going, want to meet sister? Anyway, uh, he's a Chinese kid, that's what he is. He's gonna come out with an iron and do your shirts for a half hour. But he's a beautiful young star, and go away, go away, bite a Gentile, you dummy, you. <laughs> and so you're really gonna love him, if you would. A big hand for a bright comedy star, Mr. Johnny Ewan. Give him a nice hand. Johnny? Great pressure of being with you. I mean, pleasure of being with you. The funniest Korean joke. 옛날 예적 간날 가적 명기 바지 천물 쪽에 고랭이 담배 피울 쪽에 봉이 김선 다니는 살았는데 미시그나. I love that joke. Johnny, you. Got a smile on them, otherwise they have their drag and eat you. <laughs> My next friend is a dear friend. We go back to Montreal, Canada. When I first met him, he was walking, walking around town saying, Hey, uh, you know any Mounties? Anyway, he's a real wonderful guy. He's got a tremendous nose. In fact, he's not really a guy. In the morning, he sits on a fence in front of his wife and goes, ah, 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 ah. The guy looks like a bad beagle on a hike. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> but he's a big fella, and he's very, very funny. And when he comes out, I'd like you all to do me a favor. Drop your pants and fire a rocket over his head. I, I think that'll make him feel at home. If you would, my good buddy from, uh, from way down in Florida living now, my good buddy, Mr. Jack Wakefield. Give him a big hand, Jack. Thank you, folks. And uh, Don, I want to apologize because you asked me where my wife Elsie is, and she's home taking care of our five grandchildren. And she says, that's enough. She don't want any more, so she just had a hysterectomy. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Just, just as funny as ever. <laughs> and now there's a wonderful gentleman. His stage name is Bruce Baum, and his real name is Lou Lipschitz. <laughs> so between the two of them, we went for Baum. He's a great kid. I've never had the pleasure of watching him work once on television. He's a fine man. When you see him, when he comes out here, really, you'll give him clothes and food. He's a derelict. That's what he is. He's an annoying kid. Hangs around health clubs and pulls off the towels. <laughs> Gee, I'm doing some of the A stuff. Anyway, uh, he's a magnificent young man, and you're going to enjoy his work. I know that. Mr. Bruce Baum. Give a nice hand, Bruce. The Navy's got these new jet fighters now, and these jet fighters can take off of an aircraft carrier from a standstill. Thing is, the carriers have to get up to about 700 miles an hour, but then stop real fast. As you can see, he just had his hair washed. Anyway, I'm gonna put a stick on your neck and make you a mop. Anyway, uh, I'd like you to know that here's a lovely lady that I met in Chicago many, many times. She used to go under the name of Laverne Laverne, work with a dead cobra on her face and a swan on a can. A hell of a broad, you're gonna love her. Look at this, the guy in the front went, a swan on a can? I hate a dummy right in the front. I hate a dummy right in the front. Anyway, you're gonna love her. She's new to television, and this is her first appearance at Las Vegas, and we happen to be appearing at the Sahara Hotel, one of the best hotels in the whole world, and she's gonna get a big chance. Let's meet and greet a lovely comedian, Pudgy. Give her a nice hand. Thank you. I'm very excited about doing the show tonight. Nervous and excited. Mm. And I bought a new dress for you. Mm. You like it? Mm. You like the dress? <laughs> Act like you want me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not like you want to wear it, like you want me. <laughs> 
again. I'm lonely, but not that lonely. Huh? No, I kid you, she's a pretty girl. She wants to be with me desperately, but I got a Jewish wife that has everything in her name. Anyway, uh, I'd like you to meet a, a gentleman that uh, really some of you, I'm, I'm sure most of you have heard of. He's appeared on major television shows, and he's a magnificent guy, very unique and very talented. I used to sit with him in the lounge. He's appearing right here in our beautiful Sahara Casbah Theater, and he appears uh, many, many, well, three times a night, and breaks it up every time with this funny little doll. You know, that's weird when a guy doesn't have a wife and goes to bed with a doll, you know what I mean? He goes, do, 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 and the doll goes, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, meet Waylon Flowers and Madam. Oh, Don, I'm, how are you, darlings? I'm so excited on being on Don's show. Lord, when he dies, they'll still have to shoot his mouth. <laughs> What would the world be like without funny people? Funny people who make you laugh. A snowboard that knocks off your block. A pie in the face rocks your clock. A banana peel is the yacht. A lady and a mouse will bring down the house. The world is milk and honey with funny people. They'll make you unwind when you are too wound. You get your, your pains and your aches Like plenty of punchlines and double takes And lots of funny people Jim, weren't they wonderful, huh? Aren't they something? This is a gazinta. This gazinta this. <laughs> you, Jerry Lester, 1937. Anyway. By the way, I'd like you to know uh, this is a fantastic orchestra. These are hand-picked guys from Henderson, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. They, these are guys that worked with Johnny Belinda for many, many years. She was the woman that was the mute. Now listen, old lady, either you laugh or you're going in a home. Now I'm not going to say it again. The old lady's sitting there wheezing and spitting. I hate that. Anyway, you're not old, darling. The husband, when he's right, Rose, you're old. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, a big hand for the Jack Gaglash Orchestra. Gentlemen. And my personal conductor, who is sitting there with earphones waiting to land planes, the best in the world, Mr. Bobby Kroll. Give me a hand, Bobby. 